Hello everybody, it's MCB here, and welcome back to another marvelous video. Today, I'm on my Minecraft creative server, Libre Galaxy, and I'll be showing you how the planet's system works. It is unlike other creative servers out there, because it's custom coded by me. So there's some confusion around it, and by the end of this video, you'll understand how to make a planet, and how to manage your planet. So, okay, let's get into it. So first, when you join the server, if you hit this NPC and you don't already have a planet, it'll bring up a creation menu. If you do have a planet, you'll see the planets you own or are added to. And as you can see, there's the, there's a few for me, uh, but let's just pretend I'm a new player. So you can also use this command yourself. So that'd be P create. So here you get to choose a template for your planet. The template is basically the world that you start out with. So it could be a void, where basically there's one block and everything is just empty. It could be a super flat, just like the typical super flats you'll see where it's like grass, it's a bunch of stone, it's all water. Then there's also historical templates coming soon, which are pre-made worlds which we are working on. So let's check out void, for example. So if you click this, you'll see that you're instantly teleported into a new world. And indeed, it is my world. You can see in the chat here, it says that my permission is changed to owner. So I'm now an owner of the world and I teleported to it. And this message here tells you that if you don't like this world template, you can actually just go and delete it. So I'll look around, I see a whole lot of nothing. I kind of don't like this template. So let's go and P delete confirm. Now the world is completely gone, no longer part of my uh, planets. Like, the world's completely deleted, not recoverable at all. Let's try to make a new planet here. So let's go into curated. So there are lots of many cool curated seeds we have here, and there's more to come. I like the different cherry ones. They're very pretty. Uh, let's do Cherry Grove Ring. That seems like a good template. And again, it's okay. It's low stress. Actually, no stress, because if you don't like the template, you can just keep deleting it until you find something you like. So when it comes to a world that isn't the void, it does take a little bit longer to load, because the server is creating your world in real time. Okay, here is the little world here. And as you can see, as it loads in, oh, soccer's here. We'll go back, soccer. As you can see, when the world loads in, it's pretty. I like this quite a lot. Now, there is a world border here. As of right now, uh, this is to, is to prevent people from basically flying out and creating a bunch of chunks because, you know, there's a lot of people making planets. And if somebody takes up like five gigabytes, if everyone took up five gigabytes of storage, uh, I couldn't have many planets on here. So yeah, uh, that's why it is limited. But if you actually need the space, I will go and expand your planet for you. All you need to do is just let me know like, hey Martin, I need more space. And I am more than happy to give you the space if you're actually gonna use it for something and not just, you know, <laughs> fly out infinitely you know, create a bunch of chunks and then never play again, right? So, yeah, that's the world border. So once you're here, you can just start building. You're you're good to go. Like, let's go and just, you know, uh, start placing some logs, whatever. Like, I'm making a tree here. Uh, so that's nice and fun. But what if you have friends and you want to allow them to build? Because by default, your planet is protected. People can join, but they cannot break anything on your planet. So if you want to trust them, you can do P, permission, and then their username. So let's actually add my other account here. And this is ItsMCB, my other account. So as you can see, this menu pops up. This is the group selection menu. So when you're editing the permission for someone, you can give them a group. And when you hover over the categories, it tells you what they do. So for example, band, this is basically if you want someone to never be able to join your planet. Now, if you have multiple planets, you have to set it for each planet. But yeah, once they're banned, they cannot join, they cannot do anything. By default, when people join your planet, 
they are a guest. So as you can see, they can enter, they can, they'll be in creative by default, but they can't world edit, they can't place anything, break anything, use containers, none of that. Then there's member. Member is when you want to allow people to more or less place blocks and stuff, but maybe you don't trust them with world edit, or maybe you are using this as a survival world of sorts, where you don't want to give your friends world edit because oh, they're going to cheat, but, uh, you know, it's okay for them to break blocks and stuff. Then above that is admin, and admin on your planet pretty much can place everything, and they can actually use world edit. And then there's owner. Only give owner to people you trust completely, because as an owner, they can delete your planet, they can remove you from your planet, so all of that could happen. So be very careful who you give owner to. Only do it for someone you absolutely trust, because it gives them the exact same amount of power as you. And that's why there's that red text there saying, be careful, are you sure you want to do this? So let's give my alt account admin. So then you can see it's uh, both of my accounts here, and it brings up this menu. And if I go in, let's say I'm, I'm good with this, and then actually, you know what, I want to remove uh, its MCV. I can actually just do P permission, and then I can go in and click the name, and uh, go and click on guest. Then completely removed. So a few more last things that are important to know is going to do P manage. This command will give you access to every setting you need in your planet. So first here is info. This is a bunch of spam you'll see in the chat, just telling you everything about your planet. So here's the name, the description, when it was created, uh, other elements, and actually the data size, which may be interesting uh, to you to see how big your planet actually gets. Yeah, let's go to pmanage again. So you can edit the name, so let's call this uh, epic planet. Just type in the name, you don't need to do any uh, special command. There you go, now it's Epic Planet. And if you use the visit command, you can see it actually is called Epic Planet now. Let's go to pmanage again. You can edit the description. This is useful to tell people what the planet is about. So let's just say uh, Spleef, or yeah, Spleef and other mini games. So let's say if I wanted to make this like a mini game planet, uh, people could go and see up. Uh, okay, Spleef and other mini games. That sounds like fun. Then P manage again. You can edit the spawn position. So by default, if you do uh, P spawn, it'll bring you to the, the uh, spawn of the planet you're currently in. And then of course, if you use V and you click it, it'll bring you to the spawn point. But let's say I want it to be right next to this waterfall area over here. Let's uh, look at the direction that I want it. Then P manage, edit spawn, and then set it. So now if I go back, I'm gonna go over here and let's do visit again. Now they're facing the waterfall just as you wanted it. Okay, a few more things. We have edit members. This is the this screen again. We have edit time. So setting it is just like setting it once. So you do sunset and then it should change it to a sunset if you look over here. Yep. But then the time is going to continue. So it's not actually locking it in. It just sets the time. But sometimes you want your world to always be in a particular way. For example, in the spawn world, that is always night because, you know, it's a spaceship. You, it's supposed to kind of look like space. So if I wanted this world to always be night, I can do P manage, go back to edit time, lock, and then click on midnight. There you go. Now it's night and it looks very nice. Although I feel like I need to light it up with some glowstone or something. I'll definitely do that later. Going back to P manage, there's also weather. As of right now, uh, there's clear, rain, and thunder. If you want it to be raining, you can. I always think it's nice to be clear, so I'll keep it on clear. There's also reset. Uh, so for example, if it was raining, you can just click on reset, and it'll just go back to a normal weather cycle. So then over here is difficulty. This might be useful to you if you are using this as a survival world, or if you just want to edit the uh, amount of difficulty for mobs and stuff if you're doing like PvP or PvE. Over here is game rules. This is useful if you want to change some of the properties of the planet world. So for example, I don't want mobs to spawn. You can turn that off. Fire ticks, you can turn that off. Very useful if you are setting 
uh, fires, like a campfire or something. Or maybe you want this to be true if you're a pyromaniac. I mean, if that's the case, you know, it's your planet, you can do what you want. Uh, but yeah, lots of other settings here that are potentially useful for uh, setting things up the way you want it. The last thing here is Entity Manager. This will show you all of the entities in your planet, which includes like minecarts and armor stands and stuff. This is useful because there is a limit to the entities you can have, and sometimes it's not always clear where they are. So you can click on it and then go and uh, teleport to them. So here it is over here. This is actually outside of the world border right now, but here is this particular entity. So hopefully that was a really useful tutorial for you to uh, see. Uh, this is the planet system. It's unique. No other server has it because I custom coded it. It is difficult to maybe wrap your head around it first, but once you start to use it, it's really nice, really simple, really intuitive. And as of right now, you have three planet slots. So you can have this planet and you can make more. You can delete a planet if you don't like it. You can delete it if you don't like the template. And let's say if you did make that minigame, so let's say I finished this as a spleef arena, but I didn't want to have to reset it each time. I could actually do P copy. And then here's Epic Planet, and I can click that and it would create a copy of the planet, which is useful. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.